This is the second part of um, a series of videos that I'm doing to kind of show you the capabilities of Istio 1.5 and introduce you to some of the new security APIs that have been introduced. In the previous video, we looked at using the auto MTLS feature and the peer authentication API. And in this video, what we're gonna do is look at using the request authentication API to require uh, and, and verify, validate JOT tokens as they come in to identify and authorize the user. You can take a look at the docs here for either in the reference section under configuration and then security to give you much more deeper understanding of these different APIs. Um, peer authentication, request authentication, the JOT rule and authorization policies, these are the APIs that Istio will be using going forward. Uh, these deprecated ones, these marked deprecated ones will not. And then authentication policy was an alpha API that is still around and still works, but that you're encouraged to use the new peer authentication or request authentication APIs. So let's come back to our demo environment here and take a look at using JOT tokens. So if we call our our service, we saw we saw in the previous uh, previous video that we have a web API workload which calls recommendation, which then calls purchase history. And if we call it, oh, come back here from our curl command line, we're we're able to access it. In the previous video, we made sure that all of the communication going back and forth in the mesh is uh, is secured and uh, and um, MTLS is enforced. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the new request authentication API and we're going to require that a JWT token, JWT token is part of the request and that is used to identify the, the end user, the identity of the user making the request. We're going to use the authorization policy to ver or to enforce that an identity exists. It can be anything in this case, and we can be more fine grain and, uh, and put some more structure around this policy. But right now we're just saying it has to have a jot, it has to be valid, and it uh, um, can't, be, can't be blank. So what we're gonna do is apply this request authentication and authorization policy together. And now when we call our service, we should be greeted with a 401, which should be uh, rejected. Let's wait a, a second. Sometimes, you know, the, the, it takes a second to prop up for the configuration to propagate here. Now let's try calling our service. And of course, live demo, it, um, it worked because we didn't give it enough time for the configuration to propagate. Let's try it again from here. Okay, there we go. We see we're getting a, a, a forbidden here. What we can do is pass a valid JOT along with the request. And if we come back and take a look at our request authentication, what we're, we're, we're going to enforce this on the web API workload. The JOT has to be issued from solo and can be verified with its public key using this, using this public key. And so this is a JOT we'll end up using. Obviously we'll convert it into proper JOT. And now if we make a call with this bearer token, and you can now see why I am automating the typing of this, because this would be a lot to type. We should cross our fingers. Come on, ultra secure. Now, now it works. So now we're passing in a valid JOT. It identifies us and um, we can hit the API. So that's it for this demo and uh, these, these videos. Check out Istio 1.5 and especially the 1.5.1 release, which was just announced uh, not too long ago. Again, this is Christian Posta from solo.io 
uh, check out some of the new Istio features. Thanks.